In this movie, I'm going to show you how to make a stacked chords rack, like the one we recently gave away for making your own layered chord patterns. So I've got a few chord one-shot samples here, and I've chosen three in C and three in G, or close to it. Pretty much all samples of this type will be labelled with the note or key they relate to. So firstly then, I'm going to add an instrument rack to a MIDI track in Live. Then I'm going to drag Sampler to it, which gives us a single chain with Sampler on, as we can see in the Chains list there. So I'll duplicate the chain so we get two samplers, and then for the first chain I'll show the Zones list, and then drag my C chord one-shots into the Zones area. And if I play some notes now, you can hear we get those chords triggering together. And the good thing about these is they're in C, which is the default root note. So they'll all be in the same key as the notes I'm playing. Switching to the other chain then, I'll drag in the G chords now. But for these, I'll need to change the root note, which is the note that plays the sample at its original pitch. So these need to be moved to G. A quick way of doing this is to hold down the Alt or Option key and then drag the R here, which will set all three zones to G. But then I'll need to click on the first zone, which is in A, and set that to A instead. So now when I play notes, you'll hear both samplers playing all six chords. And they should all be in tune with each other now, but you'll soon hear if any are out of tune and can isolate a particular sample and change the root note till it sounds right. Next up, we'll set up the rack macros by first displaying them with the switch, and then the first dials I'll have on the levels of the two chains to control the volume of each sampler. This is done by turning on map mode, then clicking on the level of the first chain, and then clicking map on the first dial, and then repeating for chain two. So now we can control how much of each sampler we hear. And now I want to choose the sample that plays in each sampler. So in the first chain, in Sampler's Zone list, I need to click on Select, and then I need to right-click the zones and choose Distribute Ranges Equally, and then click above the ranges, and then map that to the second dial, and then repeat that for the second chain. So now I can choose the sample we hear in each rack too. And for the last macros, I thought it'd be nice to control the amount of low frequency content in each sample and the length. So for the bass cut, I need to go to Sampler's Filter tab and then map the filter frequency to the first dial. But I need to come out of map mode for a second and change the filter to high pass. And you might also like to map the filter resonance to the same dial, so it doesn't get so quiet when you cut the bass. Adjusting the resonance range up in the mapping area if you don't want it to go up quite so high. And for the length, you need to turn down the amp envelope sustain and then map the decay to the last macro. So that's the rack done. The macros can then be renamed and coloured, and the chains and devices hidden to simplify the display. And then you can save it to your library. So I hope you can see how easy it is to create this kind of rack, which you can drag a load of samples into to add a highly usable and time-saving instrument to your library. See you next time. <laughs>